Welcome back to my channel, you guys. If you're new here, my name is Deja Corinne. If you're not new here, welcome back. I missed you. So we're just going to be starting off this vlog with a painting, the same one that I was working on in my last video, but we have a lot going on. So without further ado, let's just get into it. working on this little project and it finally came in i'm really excited to share this custom rug that i got done with you guys and we will talk more about that later on but here it is I bought a few more things for my studio. I've been needing wall shelves and I found these two really cute ones. They're sort of weird in a cool way because they kind of look like they light up. Like, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but really quirky and I feel like it would look good in here. So I got these and then I finally, finally I got a desk chair and I'm gonna show you guys that in a second. job at putting up these shelves so much so that they actually decided to just collapse on me so yeah I'm gonna do that off camera now <laughs> and that's why you don't stand on twisty turny chairs yeah I got one boo-boo and now I've got a second one so you probably couldn't see it but I need to run back out to my car and get another band-aid for the second time gonna rain which I don't mind I like the rain hope it thunderstorms a little bit that'll be very peaceful while I'm painting Let's see it just started sprinkling <sighs> bro it started it started pouring for a band-aid playing games okay so <clears throat> I need to order a blanket or a tapestry to get some custom totes made so I'm very excited for that so I'm gonna show you guys pretty much how I order those I'm gonna go through that really quickly and if you want to know how I put the bags together I have a whole video on my channel that I posted like two videos before this one so go watch that tutorial um, and then we're gonna get into starting two more paintings and possibly get into painting one that I've already started over here. So when I said I was gonna run through this pretty quickly, I am. Basically just get on Google, type in custom throw blanket, custom tapestry throw, something including those words, and then honestly just shop around. Different websites will have different prices different um, qualities so it's kind of up to you which one you end up going with and then you just need to upload your design to the site and bada boom bada bing you've got the tapestry that you need
trying to direct my own photo shoot and it's so hard, especially with the lighting in here and not having anyone else to assist me. So, but we're making it work. It's a one woman show and we don't need anybody to get this done. Okay, so the photo shoot is pretty much over. I've burned these candles to the ground. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much for 10K. Um, welcome to the family. <laughs> that was actually so hard. I Having to take your own pictures, it's very possible with the right equipment and lighting. Maybe I'm just picky, but that was very discouraging. But at least I get to enjoy some cake. Okay, so right here, I decided to throw in a little time lapse of this painting. I actually really like doing time lapses because I like to see the progression and that sort of speed. But I want you guys to let me know if you guys want to see more of this because with this painting I also went live on Instagram, which was really fun So if you guys don't have me on Instagram, definitely go add me on there because I plan on doing that more often now But let me know what you guys think about the time lapses in general Guys, it's all rainy and like gloomy outside and I love it perfect vibe for painting indoors so let's paint together let's paint together y'all I feel like such a little nerd but I'm having such a good time it's raining I'm watching CD universe and I'm painting oh my gosh let's get into it spent a lot of this day working on the hair for these two pieces because you've probably heard me mention but I really don't love painting hair it's not that I hate it or anything but it's like the least eventful part for me like the least fun part but I try to go a little outside the box and put a little bit more effort into the hair especially with the braids for Tyla and I like the way that they're turning out so far but we still have a long way to go I'll get some comments some of them are definitely trolling but some of them also seem a little bit genuinely curious and I get a lot of comments asking like why I paint famous people or celebrities and I could go really in depth about that but I don't want to at the moment I'll definitely cover it in another video but I also do want to let you guys know that's not the only thing that I do. I don't share every piece of work that I make on Instagram or YouTube, but I did want to add in a clip of me sketching because it's something that I really love to do, and that's what I started doing before I got into painting.
I actually got some super cute stuff from Urban Outfitters. But most importantly, I got a new Smisky. Let's see which one it is. Okay, that one better than the last one. I'm hoping that I got either the one that's putting the sweater on, like this one in the box, or the one that's like sitting down with his arms up. I mean, the secret one would be cool too, but I want one of the two that I just described. And it's not giving either of those. Actually, it is, it is. It's giving the one on the box based on how it feels. Dang. Okay, you guys looking for me. You guys looking for me. Tell me if I got the one I wanted to. It's not, it's not giving either one. I got a little bro putting on socks. I got the little bro who's putting on socks. Does he even stand by himself? I don't even know if he's supposed to stand by himself. Hold on, let me see. I guess on a flat surface he might. Oh, he does stand by himself. I mean, he's cute. He ain't what I expected, but. I wanted to close out this video with a event that I went to. I didn't capture all of it just because it was very personal and kind of dear to me, but I did want to get some clips of me just walking through the gallery. For a while, I was a part of this art club and the woman leading it was retiring, so we had this event to celebrate her and I'm very glad that I got to go. I definitely cried a little bit while I was there because this art club, it just, it opened up a lot of doors for me and it made me realize that art is something that I wanted to pursue as a career and just never stop doing. So I kind of just wanted to share that with you all. And if art is something you guys are thinking about pursuing seriously or even just as a side thing, I want to say just keep doing it, never stop. It's a really beautiful thing to stay in touch with that and sometimes people really need that encouragement and I feel like I got that through that club that I was a part of. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.